I'm so excited for you to see my LA vlog. Honestly, it was one of my favorite brand trips ever. I really did cure my LA trauma because I always tell people that I hate LA and this time around, I absolutely loved it. So I'm so excited for you guys to see what I got up to. But the reason I'm starting this vlog like this, so obviously I've already been on the trip, but the reason I'm starting the vlog like this is because I actually lost the first like five minutes of footage. So it kind of starts a little bit abruptly. I lost traveling there and I lost the first night, but all I did was like do a little room tour and order food. So you didn't really miss much, but it just starts a little bit abrupt. So I just wanted to let you guys know, but I'm so excited for you guys to see. I really hope you enjoy it and yeah. Here we go. This is what I'm wearing today. I tried to go in like true LA style, which I always think is like yoga pants and like chill clothes. It's not as like outlandish as New York style, I don't think. So I'm wearing all white fox, white fox top, white fox yoga pants. I've got my Tiffany Air Forces on, little subtle flex there. Chrome Hearts bag and Chanel sunglasses. And I am so excited and I'm so hungry now as well. So my first stop, I think is gonna be Dialogue Cafe. They do the best matcha ever. And I've never actually had breakfast from there. So I'm gonna go grab some breakfast and then we'll see where the day takes us. It's as busy as I remember. I was literally walking across the road and there was a little queue, but I've sat down. I've ordered a breakfast burrito. I wanted something really hearty because obviously I'm gonna be doing a lot of walking around today. And then I also got my matcha. So I'm very excited. Um, it's kind of like on the street. So there's a lot going on around here, which is really nice. It's nice that people watch. I actually saw and met a few of the girls as I was coming out. So I think I might meet up with them later because they invited me to go out with them. But I kind of like being by myself sometimes. And I like exploring by myself and I don't know, because I want to go and do everything I want to do. And then and then I think I'm going to meet the girls at Air One, because naturally everyone wants to go there. So, yeah, I really enjoy spending time by myself. Is that just me? Or am I being really antisocial? I've been dreaming about this matcha since the last time I had it. So I'm really hoping it lives up to what I expect. It's just so good. I don't know what they put in this, but it's incredible. Okay, my breakfast has arrived. This looks incredible. I don't even know what's on this, I'll be honest. I just saw a breakfast burrito and immediately wanted it. Let's try it. Mm. I think it's beef brisket, egg, some sort of like hot sauce, hash browns, cheese. It's amazing. I'm just gonna touch up my makeup because that burrito was literally ruined my lipstick. And then I'm gonna have a walk over to Melrose Ave because that's where all of the vintage shops are. So I'm gonna quickly do that. I'm so full, I can't breathe. And then I'm gonna walk there. I think it's like a 40 minute walk, but I actually don't mind that because I kind of wanna see the sights. The White Fox branding is literally all over LA and that's basically the cake that I had last night. But how gorgeous is this? This is on a bus stop, but I've literally seen it everywhere. Like it's been on buses, it's been on billboards, it's everywhere. I think I'm nearly here now actually. I'm starting to recognize a few spots. But the first place we're going to is a vintage store called Wasteland. We've made it onto Melrose. That's the shop I wanna go to, but there's no crossroads over here. So I'm gonna go find a crossroad. But what we're not gonna do is walk anymore because I swear to God, I've just been chased by a homeless man with a trolley and I literally feared for my life. I shit myself. I ran into a restaurant, like I literally had to run. So that's what we're not doing. I'm going into Wasteland. It looks very grungy on the outside already. I love it in here. The Chanel slides, Margiela boots, Dior bag. Oh my God, I'm obsessed. These are so cute. It's actually massive as well. I don't think I've ever been in here before. Guys, I'm having a blast in here. There's so many cool pieces the UK could actually never. I mean, look at this. I've never seen Chrome Hearts in a vintage store in the UK, but that is so fire. I mean, it's a thousand pounds, so pass. But <laughs> so cute. First shop down, I got some really cute pieces, but I'll show you everything when I get back. 
so we're just gonna walk to the next one. I'm currently looking for a vintage store called what goes around comes around apparently it's one of the best ones in LA I think they have more like designer pieces in here so like bags shoes that kind of thing I just don't know where it is hmm. the taxi guy did say it was here but I've not actually seen it so BRB we found it in the end she was hiding from me it's kind of on like a side street of Rodeo this is the craziest vintage shop I've ever been in like there's things in here look at the Louis Vuitton bag there's things in here that I didn't even know existed I'll show you a few of my favourite pieces I mean look at that Chanel bag I could spend a small fortune in here and the aesthetics is actually crazy I mean they even have Birkins and imagine buying your first Birkin in LA this saddle bag I've never seen this before but it's like furry they've got my cushion as well that I have at home unfortunately I have fallen in love with this jacket but it's two thousand dollars I don't think I can justify that on a jacket but it's a Dior jacket and I've never actually loved a leather jacket as much as this one. The detailing on it is actually just incredible. I've never seen this before as well. It's not fair. I also found this bag which I really liked for traveling. Like look at that for an airport bag. This is so gorgeous. But again, $6,000. Can I justify that? Maybe not. That shop was actually incredible. I just, I can't do it right now. So I'm gonna head to Air One because it's literally around the corner. Wait, am I going the right way? I'm kind of peckish now, it's four o'clock. So I'm thinking I'm gonna go grab some snacks, maybe take some food back to the hotel and maybe have a nap. I'm starting to lag a little bit now. I found her. I'm so excited. The Virgo in me is so happy with how neat everything is. I've never seen anything so colourful and neat before. They've got loads of really cool fruits here as well. Like they've got lychee, dragon fruit, papaya. I mean, you can't really get these in the UK. Well, you can, but they're hard to find. It's so unfair that I can't take this back to the UK because all of this is like fridge stuff. I mean, they've got obviously dry snacks as well, but I want the fridge stuff. This is so unfair, but I'm gonna try what I can while I'm out here. I mean, I can only eat so much. I think I'm gonna get some sushi for lunch because I can't say no to this. They even do like crispy rice and sushi sandwiches. Look at this, the sushi sandwich. It's got salmon, tuna, prawns. That looks hefty though. I don't think I could eat that right now, but that looks so good. I do get what people need though. It's so pricey. Like that sushi sandwich was $20. And then what else is there that I can show you? Just for a simple plate of sushi, $18. Crazy. I ended up spending $60. I couldn't tell you what on, but I did get the Hayley Bieber smoothie, obviously. I feel like a sucker for buying this. And I feel like a loser for spending $18 on a smoothie. Just waiting for my Uber. I'm gonna eat my lunch back at the hotel and then hopefully take a nap. But while I wait for my Uber, we'll try this together. To be fair, that is very good. Okay, that's actually better than I thought it was gonna be. I thought I was gonna regret spending nearly $20 on a smoothie. That's actually worth it. It's very sweet, but I like sweet things, so. Can get on board with that well that's going to be finished in about five seconds i'm absolutely exhausted <laughs> i've literally just hit a wall like i've got back and suddenly i could sleep for about 10 years but i'm just having one of these olipops that i found in air one and this is basically like the soda version of the hayley bieber smoothie it tastes kind of similar but this has got like probiotics, supports digestive health. So with all this food I'm eating while I'm away, hopefully this will undo all the bad shit. But anyway, I'll show you what I got from Air One. I love the bags, the bags are so cute. I didn't actually get that much, so I don't know how I spent $60, but I got some watermelon to snack on. 
I got some lunch. I actually wanted something hot. I was going to get some sushi, but then I saw this counter and it looked so good. So I got that for lunch. I got another Olipop. This one is the Classic Grape. Tell me that's not all I got. That's literally all I got for $60. And then the smoothie, obviously. Nice. So this is what I got for lunch. I got some salmon, buffalo cauliflower, and this like selection of greens. I couldn't find the cutlery anywhere, but I saw some chopsticks. So I'm gonna use chopsticks to try everything. We'll try the boring stuff first with the greens. You know it's about to be fire when even the greens taste amazing. I've heard so many good things about this buffalo cauliflower. So I'm excited to try. Oh. And then we also just have some grilled salmon, which you can't really go wrong with. Amazing. I made some very good food choices today. The jet lag caught up with me, so I've not even had time to do my hair. I've literally just had the quickest shower and redid my makeup in a crazy amount of time. I've probably done that and filmed a TikTok in an hour. Well, I'm going to the party now. I'll show you my outfit really quickly. So obviously I've got a white fox dress on, black bag, black shoes, another all black fit. I don't know what's going on with me at the minute. Um, don't really know what my hair's saying, but I just didn't have time, so this is the fit for the night. We're basically on a school bus, which is nice. I'm with Katie. Oh, hi. kind of matching tonight. We said we've both got blue eyes, we've got similar hair, but we're on our way. I keep getting told this information, so there's apparently people performing. There's a boy and a girl. We're all trying to decide who it is. I think it's going to be Tiger. I think it's going to be Tiger. I think it's going to be like Brown. I bet this bit of choir is actually nice after the screaming that I'm probably going to put in this vlog. I have no idea what I filmed last night. I just know that it will be so loud. There'll be a lot of screaming and some probably very bad singing. But I look how I feel or I feel how I look this morning but I did have a shower and to be fair the shower really revived me I woke up again at 6 a.m which is so annoying I really wanted to lie in today but my body clock's just not having any of it so I've just been chilling and getting on with some work to be honest and watched a little bit of tv currently nine o'clock so I think I'm gonna head out and maybe grab coffee and some breakfast oh my god last night was so fun tiger performed and meg the stallion meg the stat like i would have never guessed it was her but she was so good live and then i came home i actually backdoored it i didn't tell anyone i just thought right home time i didn't even drink that much but i think because i was so jet lagged i felt more drunk than i actually was i got an uber home by myself which i shouldn't do but I have this really bad habit of doing that. I always backdoor it. And then I did order a Wendy's and then fell asleep. Like I didn't actually get the food. I ordered the food, put my pajamas on, took my makeup off and then passed out in bed. So <laughs> I never actually got to have my Wendy's. So the last thing I ate was that Air One. So I definitely need to go and eat something this morning. This towel needs to come off. But I think I'm gonna go chill by the pool this morning and yeah, I need to go and pick up a coffee. And then we'll see where the day takes us again. I'll probably do another day of shopping if I'm honest. Cause what else do you do in LA? I actually don't know what to do. I will show you before I leave everything that I buy. Rather than doing it in bits, I may as well show you all at once. It's a cap and sunglasses job this morning. That's how you know it's bad. But this is my outfit. 
I don't know why I'm showing you an outfit when it's literally a gym set, but this is the coffee run outfit. I have actually just passed a Starbucks because there's one literally like two minutes away from the hotel, but I actually decided that I'm gonna go for a little walk first because this area is so nice. There's independent stores, art galleries. So I thought before I actually go, grab a coffee and then go back to the hotel I'm gonna have a little wonder. On my walk I stumbled across the biggest Supreme store I've ever seen. It doesn't actually open till 11 and I mean there's already people queuing outside. It's 9.30 so there must be something going on. I might actually come back here after I've had breakfast. Finally got my coffee. I got brown sugar oat shake and espresso with vanilla sweet cream cold foam. We always get the brown sugar oat shake and espresso in the UK but we just don't have the cold foam so I thought I'd try it and it's incredible. Wow. I also got a breakfast sandwich so I'm just gonna eat this here. Can we just appreciate I've just waited in that to come in the supreme store but it's so cool in here. It's so much bigger than the London one loud as well but I've picked up a few bits so I'll show you when I get back. I also saw this shop before called H Lorenzo and they've not opened yet but I think they're open now so I'm gonna have a little look in here it looks really cool. I've just fallen in love with a pair of boots I've just tried these Bottega um, like knee-high boots on and they look so good like the shape of them is so cute but i've also got two skirts to try on i really love this one i think this one's sakai and then this one's like a long one so i'm gonna try them on as well but i think i think i might treat myself to these boots because i really need a good pair of black boots for winter apart from this being a little big i'm obsessed with this skirt it's so gorgeous like look at the back of it I mean, I'd probably have to have it tailored, but this is so cool. Okay, I'm done with my spontaneous shopping now. I just passed a sweet green, so I picked up a salad for lunch because I feel like I need some veggies. So I'm gonna go eat this by the pool, and I think I'm just gonna chill for the rest of the day because I actually have a whole day tomorrow. Okay, the jet lag officially wiped me out. I've literally been in and out of sleep all day, which is so annoying because obviously I'm here such a short amount of time, but I just know that if I would have done anything today, I wouldn't have enjoyed it. Like I was just so tired, but me and Katie actually got some content done because we're obviously shooting some stuff for White Fox. So I've come back to the room and I've just ordered myself a matcha. And one thing I will say about LA is they know how to do matcha. Like even the Starbucks matcha tastes so much better than in the UK. I feel like LA is like the land of matcha. But anyway... I thought, while I've got a little bit of time before dinner, because now my hair and makeup's done, I'm going to show you everything that I've bought while I've been here. I didn't actually do as much damage as I thought I would have. So I'm quite happy about that, but I'm really happy with the purchases that I got from Supreme today. So I'll show you them first. First of all, I got this little yellow beanie and I only got this because the guy in the shop was like, please try this on. I feel like this will look so good on you. So I tried it on. I low-key agree. Like, I think that's so cute for autumn winter and I don't usually wear like bright colored hats like this. So I thought it was a little different, but I'm thinking just a really plain fit, like a white t-shirt and jeans with this on. And then I got this coat, which I saw online and it was completely sold out and there was one left in the store and it was in my size. So I knew it was meant to be. This is the back of it. How gorgeous is that? It's like a quite a thick coat. In fact, am I gonna be able to fit this in my case? I'm sure I will. Um, it's quite a thick coat for winter, obviously. And then it's just got this knit detailing on the back with the Supreme logo. I thought this was so cute. I've never seen a coat like this before. Oh, and it's even got it on the hood as well. But I tried this on in the store and it just looks so good on. And then from the vintage place yesterday, I picked out two things. So I got this red waistcoat. I'm really obsessed with wearing red at the minute. So I got this and it's like a leather 
sort of waistcoat so i thought i could wear it open i could wear it closed i could do quite a lot with this and then this is probably my favorite thing that i've bought i know this is not going to be everyone's cup of tea but it's this levi's denim jacket but then it's got this like fur looking waistcoat situation this looks so much better on than it does off but i can't wait to style this i'd put it on but Oh, I just flashed you. Sorry, my memory was full. I don't know what it's full of. I actually don't even know what I vlogged on this trip. Hopefully, <laughs> it's somewhat interesting. I feel like I've been on my own most of the time, but I don't know whether it's just me. I actually really enjoy my own company. I was saying this the other day when I was in dialogue, but I don't know. Like, I mean, everyone's been kind of doing their own thing anyway. And I think a lot of the people here brought a plus one, but I obviously came on my own, so... Um, no one's really been doing group things. Everyone's just kind of been doing their own thing. And I actually really like that. Because usually brand trips are so planned and so like we're doing this and then we're doing this and then we're doing this. But I've been able to do everything that I've wanted to do, which has been really good. It's the last dinner tonight, so we're obviously all going to go out together. And I can actually speak to the girls tonight because obviously I met everyone last night. But it's not really the right setting to like make connections in a club do you know what i mean like obviously you saw how loud it was yeah i'm just chilling now probably only got like 20 minutes before i need to get dressed tomorrow actually um everyone's leaving really early but because i'm flying back to manchester my flight's not until like 8 p.m and i upgraded myself because that 11 hour journey well it was 14 hours in the end it was not it. I wanted to fly back first because as soon as I land, I literally land in Dublin, fly from Dublin to Manchester, and then two hours later, I'll be going to Rachel's birthday dinner. So everyone pray I survive. I'm just quickly touching my makeup up before we go out. I was gonna redo it. it kind of doesn't look too bad to be honest and I can't be bothered. So I'm just retouching. I kind of wish I had like a, a red or burgundy lipstick to go with this top. But again, my outfit is from White Fox. So I've got this White Fox top on and just some baggy jeans. Um, and then I think I'm actually gonna wear flats. I'm gonna wear my Rick Owens trainers, in fact. Let me see what shoe options I have. I don't think I can face wearing heels tonight. So I'm thinking of wearing these because I mean, it's not the same colour, but I feel like these will go quite nicely. And then my Chrome Hearts bag. So this is my outfit for the evening. I know it's really simple, but I feel like you can't be a simple outfit sometimes. And oh my God, look at these earrings. Look how cute they match with the top. They're like little strawberries. Wait, can you see that? How cute are they? Um, but I'm going to go meet Katie now because we're going to go and take some content before we go out. I actually forget sometimes that that is what we're here for. I've had to come out of the main room because it's so loud here, but we've just got to catch. And I've never been here before, but I've heard so many people raving about this restaurant. I think White Fox have actually ordered like a selection of food that's just going to come out. So I get to try a bit of everything. But I want to show you around because this place is so aesthetic. So you have to get a lift up and then this is what it looks like. It's such a good place for pictures. It's so pretty. And you get, I was gonna say you get a little view, but it's not really much of a view. Um, but we've got this like private dining area. Come in here. How cute. Got a little cocktail station over here. I'm so sad. I really want to stay here and I never thought I'd say that because usually LA is like 
so hit and miss for me. I always find that the vibe here is a little bit off, but I really enjoyed it this time around. And I think I'll definitely be back soon, but like on my own holiday. So I've packed, I've got myself ready and I actually went for a hike this morning. I should have vlogged it really, but I just wanted a day where I didn't vlog. So I don't think I'm going to vlog today, but I've got myself ready for the day and I'm going to have a day at Rodeo Drive. I kind of passed by there, but I've not really spent time there. So I'm going to go on Rodeo Drive, do some shopping and I'm going to film a little TikTok come shop with me. So I might include it in this part of the video while i was getting ready i wanted maximum shopping time so i actually ordered dialogue again but this time i went with a different order so i got some waffles which look so good they come with this like madagascan cream i think that is and then syrup so i'm gonna quickly eat that and then i also got a matcha but this one's a strawberry matcha i mean it doesn't look very appetizing but I'm going to quickly eat this and then I'm going to go do some shopping. Let me quickly show you my outfit as well. So these jeans are White Fox. They're basically the jeans that I wore last night, but just in this light blue colour. My top, I can't actually remember where this vest is from. Um, and then I've got this belt on from Paloma Wool. And then I think I'm just going to do my Rick Owens because they were really comfy last night. I've just put the syrup on them and look how good these look. <gasps> Mmm, I've been really wanting a sweet breakfast while I've been here.